Hi, this is Sean Christian Panoy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a chart plotting. So first, I'm gonna show you the materials needed in doing a chart plotting. We have triangle rulers, pencil, uh, ball pen, common ruler, and a compass divider. So here we have given we have given a situation or a problem to be to do in chart plotting. It, it says here that MT stole the lore with a speed of 8 knots departs from Kabugao Bay 13 degree 32 minutes north 124 degrees 18 minutes east at 2130 hours March 9, 2021 bound to Kagrarai Island 13 degrees 14 minutes north 123 degrees 53 minutes east passing Albay Gulf So here we have set of questions to be solved in this chart plotting First we have what will be the time and date of arrival at Kagrarai Island? Next, what will be the speed if empty stolt valor intends to reach Kag Kagrarai Island at 0200 hours March 10, 2021? Next, we have determine the courses in each waypoint leg. And the last one is determine the total distance from Kabugao Bay to Kagrarai Island. So first, we need to we need to get the waypoints in in this problem. So we will plot the waypoints here so in waypoint 1 here we have 13 degrees and 32 minutes north 124 degrees 18 minutes east so we will look here we will look in the chart we will find the 13 degrees so here we have the 13 degrees and we will count to 32 so this is 10 minutes 20 32 30 and we will count to 1, 2, and this will be 32. I will put a line in here to mark the mark the location and we will find uh, 124 degrees and 18, 18 minutes east. So this is 124 here, this is 124 and we will look for we will look for 18 minutes. So this is 10 minutes 20 and we will get 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So here is the 18 minutes. So we'll mark it here. There. So the intersection between these two lines is the mark of the waypoint. So this is here. This is the waypoint one or waypoint one. Here we will mark it here as Kabugay Island. Since, since it is near in Kabugay bay next is we'll find the waypoint 2 which is the 13 degrees 10 minutes north and 124 degrees 18 minutes east so we'll find the 13 so here 13 minutes 13 i mean 13 degrees and 10 minutes so here is the 10 minutes so we'll put a line in here again we'll mark there and 124 degrees 18 minutes east so it's it is the same as the waypoint one so here is the 18 minutes 24 de 124 degrees so we'll just continue the line here here so between this intersection is the marks our waypoint two so our waypoint two will be named ungay port since it is near at ungay port So the next one is the waypoint 3 which is 13 degrees 06 minutes north and 124 degrees 13 minutes east. So we get that. Uh, this is 30 degrees and 06 minutes. So we'll count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is 6 minutes. So we'll mark here. 6 minutes. We'll mark it here. Wait. and 124 degrees 13 minutes is so we'll get the 13 minutes so this 124 degrees 10 minutes so we'll count to we'll count 10 11 12 13 so here is the 13 minutes so we'll mark here so the intersection of these two lines is marks the way our waypoint 3 so here is our waypoint 3 so it will be named Bingai Port since it is near at Bingai Port. 
The last waypoint is waypoint 4. There we have 13 degrees, 14 minutes north, 123 degrees, and 53 minutes east. So here 13 degrees, 14 minutes north. So here 10, we'll count 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14. Here is the 14. And uh, 123 degrees, 53 minutes east. So this is 124. We'll move here since it is 123. And here we have 50, 50 minutes. So we'll count until 53. 51, 52, 53. So this is the 53 area. So we'll put this line here. So the intersection of these two will be our waypoint 4. So here marks our waypoint 4 and this will be named Kagrarai Port. Since Kagrarai Port is our final destination, already get the four waypoints. So let's name it here. First waypoint is in Kabugay Bay. Kabugao Bay, I mean. Kabugao Bay. Waypoint 2 is in Ungay Port. Waypoint 3 is in Bingay Port. And our waypoint 4 is in Kagraray Kagraray Port. Since our final destination is in Kagraray Island. So the next thing we will do is to determine the total distance from Kabugao Bay to Kagraray Islands. So we will use the compass divider to measure the distance between these waypoints. So first let me mark these waypoints using a pen so that it will be very visible here. And we will erase the excess lines so that it won't give us confusions. So now we will measure the distance between these waypoints using a compass divider. First we need to use this measure. Here. We will drag this measurement to this line here which is the latitude scale. So we will use this, this one. So from 0 minutes to 22 minutes. So here you see 10 minutes, 20 minutes and excess are 2. So it will be 22 minutes. So 22 minutes from waypoint 1. From waypoint 1. Waypoint 1 to waypoint 2. Equals... 22 minutes, but we'll make it 22 nautical miles. So next, we'll get the measurement of waypoint 2 to waypoint 3. So here, we'll drag this again to the latitude scale. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that measurement is 7 minutes from waypoint 2, waypoint 2 to waypoint 3. That is 7 minutes but it will become 7 nautical miles. Next from waypoint 3 to waypoint 4. So here, we'll drag this here and the latitude scale. So as you can see, 
it is also 22 minutes same as the measurement from waypoint 1 to waypoint 2 so waypoint 3 waypoint 3 to waypoint 4 is the same measure to waypoint 1 and waypoint 2 22 nautical miles so we will add this three way so we will add this three measurement and it will give us a total distance total distance of 51 nautical miles so next we will get here the letter C determine the courses in each waypoint leg so we will get the courses in each waypoint so waypoint 1 waypoint 1 the Kabugao Bay Kabugao Bay the course in Kabugao Bay or waypoint 1 let's measure it using our triangle ruler so we'll, we will get this angle of measurement and then we drag it to our compass rows so since since waypoint 1 is very perfectly vertical so it will surely measure 180 degrees south so here are waypoint 1 the course is 180 degrees south and the speed is 8 knots as given in the problem waypoint 2 so let's get the course of waypoint 2 waypoint 2 is at Ungay port so the course of waypoint 2 here this is the waypoint 2 we'll get the angle of measurement and then drag it to compass rows so here we can So here we have a um, course of 231. So the course of waypoint 2 is 231 west and the speed is the same 8 knots. Next we will get the waypoint 3, the course of waypoint 3. Waypoint 3 is at Bingai port. So the course, we will measure the course angle of measurement in waypoint 3. So here is the waypoint 3. So we will we'll get the angle of measurement in waypoint 3. So as you can see, here is 300 and 290 and there is an excess of 2. So our course will be 290-292 approximately 292 degrees so course is 292 degrees west speed is still the same 8 knots and waypoint 4 is our final destination at Kagraray Island Kagraray Port Final destination. So the next one will solve for A. This is what will be the time and date of arrival at Kagraray Island. So in determining that time and date, we need the formula of time. Time equals time equals distance, which is the total distance divide speed. So our total distance is here. Our total distance is 51 nautical mile. So we will write 51 nautical mile. Divide our speed. Our speed is 8 knots here. 8 knots. So we will divide this one. 
and we will get the value of 6.3838 since we need minutes in this in the time we need to convert 0.38 into minutes so we will we will multiply 0.38 times 60 so that will give us a value of 06 22 minutes so the point 38 will become 22 minutes and we need this time we need to add this one into our into the time which we departed so the time we departed is 2130 hours 2130 hours plus 06 22 minutes and th this will give us 27 hours 52 minutes but since 27 already overlaps in the time which is only 24 hours actually so we will we will subtract 27 52 minutes to 24 hours so this will give us a value of 0 3 52 hours and this this will be our value for time of arrival. So 03 hours 52 is our time of arrival. Uh, this will be this will become March 10 already, March 10, 2021. Day ahead of March 9, 2021. So next we'll get the B. What will be the speed if empty stalled valor intends to reach Kagraray Island at 0200 hours March 10, 2021? So in getting the speed, we we'll need the formula of speed equals distance divide time. Distance here is the total distance and the time. And the time is time between time between 2130 hours and 0200 hours the time of the time interval of these two here the top the speed equals distance so the total distance is here 51 nautical mile so uh, 51 nautical mile divide the time interval between 2130 hours and 0200 hours is 0430 minutes since we need our hours in getting the speed we need to convert the 30 minutes into hour so our 0430 minutes will become 4.5 hour so here we will divide 51 nautical miles to 4.5 hour and that will give us a value of 11. Point three knots since it is speed so this is the value this is the value of speed which is needed when empty salt valor intends to reach Kagraray Island at 0200 March 10 2021 and that is all for this chart plotting and this is all the formula and solutions and and that is all for this video thanks for watching